Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to today's video. I am excited to do this one as always. Uh, before we jump into it, I know someone's going to say I am still rocking the Christmas tree in the background. I do love Christmas and I know I do have to take it down. It is the 22nd of uh, January. I'm recording this at 1 a.m. Um, yeah, a lot of things have been happening. Uh, we just had the inauguration and uh, just... A lot of things are happening so i hope you guys had a good new year and uh, i will definitely be pumping out some of these videos i think i decided i want to just focus on investing and finance on this channel uh before i wanted to do maybe gaming and finance and like too many things i just got to do one kind of topic on a certain channel so i with that said i will be making a second channel um probably in the near future because i do love gaming and i do want to make content on that but um, for now, I think the focus will be finance, stocks, and that kind of that kind of deal um, on this channel. So, hope you guys are in on that. Otherwise, um, there will be a second channel. That's not to say I might come out with an occasional vlog or whatnot on this channel, um, but we are just going to focus on that. So, um, jumping into the video, I first and foremost, um, welcome guys. I will be. Uh, talking um, using M1 Finance. We're gonna be doing an update on the portfolio today. Um, and then I do wanna go over, um, I just noticed they're, they are actually doing a, a nice referral. Um, I guess this started uh, like 15 or so days ago, but uh, as you guys can see, they're doing a, if you sign up for M1, um, meaning you're brand new to the, the platform, you can get 30 bucks so I do have a link in the description below if you guys are interested in signing up you essentially get a free $30 um, again you just have to be new to the platform and then um, click on my link and then you do have to deposit a hundred dollars in a taxable account or five hundred dollars in a um, retirement account so um, and then you get the 30 bucks so it's essentially a free 30 bucks um, that is not bad so there is a link in the description if you guys are interested and that is the platform that I will be showcasing today I love it um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of videos on M1 finance so jumping in uh, so this is my portfolio I have just over twenty seven hundred dollars and I honestly have not been putting in that much as I wanted to I think the last video that you guys saw um, was a month and a half ago or so when I did my initial I think there was about 2,000 um, so I haven't been putting as much I, I'm gonna start putting a lot more um, I the other platform that I use is Robinhood and I have um, over double that um, roughly double that in in the Robinhood right now and I'll, I'll be doing a video that'll be a different video all right so the plan for today's video is we're gonna be talking about Apple guys Apple stock I actually have the HomePod Mini that I still actually uh, have not unboxed this yet. Uh, I was super excited to get it, and I've just been so busy with doing a lot of other things. Um, I've been researching, learning about stocks nonstop, day and night, but um, I'm going to open this tomorrow, actually. I need to open this thing. I heard it's really, really nice, and it's like I need a speaker, and um, I have my Nano Leaf, and this can connect everything together. So, I mean, this kind of has to do with what we're talking about today, Apple HomePod Mini, so I'm excited to um, unbox that bad boy. Um, yeah, so we're talking about Apple. I think I'm gonna go over my portfolio, guys. I made a lot of changes in the last you know month and a half, like I said, since I last did this video. Um, so I'm gonna go over the portfolio. I think what I'm gonna do is talk about Apple um, right now to get started, and then we'll do a portfolio update at the end of the video. Uh, let me know if you guys prefer it the other way around if I should do the portfolio update first or do like the stock overview analysis stuff um, of what I'm talking about but um, we're gonna start with Apple and I feel like this is a very um, first and foremost a lot of people are talking about penny stocks on YouTube right now a lot of YouTube finance investors traders um, are talking about penny uh, penny stocks and SPACs and you know with good reason but I, I i feel like penny stocks are fine but it's i actually just bought a few the last few weeks myself and i'm you know like i said i'm still relatively new to investing um i've been investing for four or five months now 
And I, I mean, with that said, I've been doing tons of research um, on my own, obviously, and learning quite a bit. But uh, so with that said, I am not a financial advisor. Uh, everything you guys see is for entertainment purposes only. But uh, yeah, I've just been seeing so much penny stocks and it's like, to, to, to be honest, like it should not make up that much of your portfolio, maybe five ish percent if that um teach their own but i mean apple i don't really see a lot of people talking about apple um i i see some comments that apple's like oh should i sell apple i think this was on uh mad money with you know jim kramer this guy was like should i sell my apple and like why would you sell apple you know apple is like it is literally the most valuable company in the world let's take a look here guys um holdings oops not holdings research not used to using m1 to be honest uh stocks so we look at this so apple market cap 2.2 trillion dollars um they have a nice growing dividend yield it's not too high right now um but if you let if you guys look in this wrong tab right here um we have a decent growing dividend of nine years um so and like i said this is my my m1 finance is my dividend growth account um but apple it's you know it, it goes up the dividends going up you can't go wrong with this company and the main reason that i'm talking about or making this video in the first place is because apple is um, reporting their december quarter earnings on uh, next week guys so this right here I'm going to read this paragraph for you guys. Apple shares are ratcheting higher as investors pile into mega cap tech shares ahead of the coming wave of December quarter earnings reports. Apple will report Apple will report results next Wednesday, January 27th, and street expectations are growing more bullish by the day, leaving its shares just a few points below their all-time high. Uh, so yeah, this the... 27th is let me just double check it's on a wednesday yeah so that's next that's this upcoming wednesday guys if you're watching this video um hopefully in the first day or two or so like uh before their earnings but um that's why i'm making this video is because um their anticipated earnings blowout which means i'm expecting if we look at their uh share price they were actually up um, almost four percent today and they're they've been going up for the week um, I'm expecting by, I don't know when they're going to, what time of the day they're going to report their earnings, whether it's going to be in the after hours or I'm not sure when, but when they do announce the earnings, um, I'm expecting them to beat the earnings and they should be going up 10 to, I'm expecting 10 to 15%, at least a 5% jump. Um, but, uh, we have an analyst so i like using seeking alpha guys i actually just signed up for their premium because i guess they're limiting the amount of articles you can read without signing up so we'll see i'm on the free trial right now um i'll definitely let you guys know how i like it but uh here's a nice article this actually came out um yesterday technic i mean yet yeah, technically now yesterday um so in other news apple morgan stanley um raises the co the company's price target from 44 to 154 so a 10% jump uh, ahead of the Q1 results on January 27th. So Apple is currently looking here at the chart is currently trading the time of this video $136.87. Um so that's expected to go up roughly $20. And um so I'm going to be loading up on Apple guys in the next few days. Uh if we go to my M1, we look at, um, I, like I said, I made some adjustments. I'm going to go over all this stuff in a second here, but technology, I moved Apple to 40% of my technology sector and the VGT, um, this ETF has Apple in it. Um, I don't know how, what percent I can check that later, but so I, I'm making Apple a pretty decent sized chunk of my portfolio um so in this account i have 120 21 of apple 
and I'm honestly going to be adding probably going to add a few hundred dollars more this week because like I said um, Apple is going to keep jumping up especially with the, the earnings and uh, it has been you know trading relatively flat I want to say the last like you guys can see um, the last four months it hasn't really done too much it's up what six percent in since uh, it peaked in like uh, August roughly so and it, it, it is it is going up but if you guys look at the whole year um, the last year it, it it's up you know over 70 percent so it has its ups and you know ups and downs like all stocks I think a, a big issue with what I'm seeing with a lot of investors something that I've noticed is um, people are looking I guess this is honestly with anything in life people are always looking for the hottest thing the hottest stock that's moving up 50 hundred percent or something crazy like a penny stock a SPAC and they forget like the tried and true companies that you know just slowly but surely go up over time and investing you know you have to be patient you have to um, again we're not day trading here we're not we're in, we're investors we're investing for the long term to make money most uh, day traders I heard a statistic I don't I don't know how true it is but roughly I think 80% of day traders lose money you know um, so looking at this up 70% um, I mean, the, this is just crazy, guys. Like, up almost 500% in, in five years. Um, so, yeah, you can't go wrong with Apple. But, again, looking at um, the, uh, something else I wanted to talk about um, is Apple plans to release an expensive VR headset as early as next year, according to Bloomberg sources. Uh, and, again, this thing looks really expensive. So the pricing for the headset will come come in above rivals which range from 300 to 900 dollars um that's kind of a, hu a huge target range but uh yeah i mean all their products are really expensive but i mean i shouldn't say all of them they came out with the ipod or the i the iphone mini um the home pod mini here was this was like 100 bucks but i feel like it's well worth it i read a lot of reviews on it so i mean some of their they are developing cheaper products you know if you will that are obviously quality you know that's why you buy apple is because of the quality you know it works and it works well you know um some apple insiders told bloomberg the company might only sell one headset per day and each of its 500 retail so they got this headset so this could be a catalyst coming up um this vr headset right here uh just scanning through and then I know they're okay. Yeah, so Apple's still planning for its AR glasses, which the company had targeted for a 2023 release, um, but will likely take longer. So that's you know longer down the road. But it's just showing you guys that Apple is you know the one of the issues that I've heard is you know you, as a the company that's on the top, you need to continue to develop you know these futuristic um, futuristic products and and you know it, it looks like apple is you know going to be doing that so that's good especially as an investor um we we're looking at investing into few you know the future not things that are behind us now like 5g is going to be huge and again there's going to be so many of these videos that i want to talk about guys i need to just pump out these um pump out these videos and uh so 5g i guess that that brings me to my next point of with the iphones and why i think apple is gonna do really well this year is um the newest iphones you know are 5g um compatible so 5g is expected to blow up this year um and be kind of become the new standard so um that's gonna help with you know apple leading the world with the iphones uh yeah, so I, I mentioned the 144 to 150. Uh, they upgraded it to 154. Uh, so that I mean that's kind of the main point of that's why I'm loading up on Apple. It's expected to go up um, in the next. I'd say I, I feel like it could hit the 154, um, roughly 15% upside in the next week or two. Oh yeah, and then I did see that they did. Uh, these are their earnings reported um last year 
and then I, I did look and I saw after all these dates um, I think this date Apple went up ten dollars ish I'd have to double check but they all went up after these because they beat their earnings uh, but let's guys let's wrap up the video a little bit I do want to go over my portfolio um, so the plan with the portfolio is I update it once or twice a month um, I just recently updated it uh, and uh, yeah so we're gonna go over so all time again we're at t just over twenty seven hundred dollars um, the money weighted return is almost twenty one percent and we have a gain of three hundred dollars so and then about almost twenty of it is dividends and yeah we're starting to actually see dividends roll in I've actually earned 13 cents today let me see what which company uh, gave me a dividend oh no that just went through because I forget it doesn't actually but yeah if you go to your activity you can see like store capital on the 15th um, so it actually takes time before when the company pays it out pays it out to you it takes time before you actually receive that dividend I forgot I forgot about that but yeah you can just kind of see um, so yeah it, the dividends guys is a very it's a slow but steady way to get essentially passive money um, it starts off very slow I mean I've started this account roughly four months ago and again I haven't been putting as much as I would like um, so the plan is to start putting in roughly at least four hundred dollars a month you know which would equate to about a hundred dollars a week and then just slowly move that up as uh, um, I have more funds available. Um, I'm almost debt free pretty much. Uh, my car is actually almost paid off. So that'll be a nice uh, chunk of money that I will just put towards investing. And uh, that'll, that'll be nice. So it starts off slow and then as you get more money, compound interest, the dividends really start rolling in. So a lot of people get discouraged by that. I've seen it on the forums and threads of, oh, dividends are stupid and you just got to go high growth. And it's like, in my opinion, I feel like everyone, maybe not everyone, but I feel like a lot of people should have a dividend portfolio. And um, in my opinion, M1 Finance is the best platform to do that because it's like, it's almost a set and forget. Like I said, you can tweak it once or twice a month, um, depending on how the market is and things go. Like I said, I've been learning quite a bit. So let's get into um the holdings here so uh main etfs i've actually brought this down quite a bit i forgot what it was in my last video you guys can always double check on that but now it's 20 percent. i want to kind of keep it around there maybe i'll lower it another five or so but um so these are just my etfs that obviously pay a dividend and uh vti pretty much tracks the s p 500 it i think it has um it has a lot more holdings, so you can see, you guys can see the dividend yield right there. Um, I think I have to click on details. Yeah, so it has um, it has a lot a lot of smaller cap companies. Yeah, it's got a lot of holdings, but it's more or less tracking the S and P 500. It's um, kind of similar to VOO, um, V O O. Um, so that is 15 percent. No, I'm sorry, that's 35 percent of my portfolio along with VYM, SPHD, and SCHD. And those those two are 15%. I'm not going to go over every single one. I mainly just want to show you guys my um, target allocations. So yeah, main ETFs, 20%. And every single one of these companies pays a dividend besides Disney, which I will actually show you in a sec. But they should uh, rein hopefully they reinstate their dividend once they open up their parks and such, which I'm expecting this year, if not for sure next year. So I'm not really worried about it. And Disney's a great company, so we'll get into them in a sec. Uh, and I do want to kind of speed this video along. So uh, Apple, what we're talking about today, I'm going to be putting. I usually don't do this, but uh, so what I'm going to end up doing in the next day or two. Um, probably tomorrow Friday actually is buy a few hundred dollars of Apple um, normally I just you put in the money I put in money every week 
and then it just gets allocated to the percentage which is really nice with the m1 finance um, so if you guys are more curious to how it works i did a decent overview of m1 in my previous video um, so you guys can check that out but um, apple i moved to 40 percent of my technology sector um, vgt is a nice etf and then we have microsoft activision and visa so apple i might eventually make apple more but again there is apple in vgt as well but 40 percent is a decent chunk um, and then like i said we're going to be putting in some a few hundred dollars because i'm expecting apple to or yeah i'm expecting apple to go up quite a bit in the next few weeks and you know let alone next few years so we go into consumer uh which is 14 percent so I, again i've made adjustments to all these holdings consumer is now 14 percent and disney is actually 35 percent so i'm really really bullish on disney i like disney um my girlfriend and i we watch a lot of disney plus we're actually watching the mandalorian we're on the second season right now we're a little bit behind um so and i love it that's they they just came out with what uh wandavision and i think we're gonna watch that um after we actually we still have to finish game of thrones so we're gonna finish game of thrones and then watch wandavision after but disney is they just uh, announced a few weeks ago that they're coming out with all these shows over the the course of this year the course of next year um star wars marvel like tons of different shows and so if they play their cards right and i think which they will um they they're gonna do really well so i made disney 35 percent costco i like costco 15 and uh, some more adjustments in in the the consumer and then real estate i made 10 percent financials telecom and then energy i'm like i said i'm not going to show you guys all these right now um i don't want this video to be too long um but energy i actually moved up i do want to talk about energy um and i will make a video on this shortly as well so i actually moved energy up from two percent because i moved it down it was at five then i moved it down to two and then i moved it back up to actually seven because um as you guys can see 41 i'm up 41 percent on exxon mobil and we're gonna be buying because it's exxon uh oil actually got an upgrade well exxon mobil got an upgrade chevron got an upgrade and they're actually rebounding really well so if we look at the chart of like Exxon real quick, um, the last three months, like look at this guys, they've been, they've been going, I don't really like using M1 um, for charts and such, but you guys can see they're up. Let me see here. Yeah, I do not like using, let's go to Exxon stock. So I can show you guys this. Uh, let's just look at the last, I guess, six months. Um, let's go back to like mid October, roughly three months ago, and you guys can see, yeah, they're up 41%. So Exxon, um, again, that'll be for a different video, but yeah. So I moved the energy up, and then uh, industrials five percent, utilities five, healthcare five, and then materials two. So. And then we ended up just going with um, just a Vanguard ETF for the materials because I really don't care much about that sector. It's kind of really boring and I don't know much about it. So we just went with the ETF. Um, but yeah, that is going to kind of wrap up the video, guys. Um, these videos, I will do better to make them shorter, but they just, um, I, I want to do my best to actually um, give you guys a decent analysis of what I'm trying to talk about of the company and then uh, show you guys an updated portfolio and again um, these videos I will make like an updated portfolio probably every week I want my my plan is um, to make like an m1 update every week and then some videos I might just talk about a certain company I mean I'm still figuring it out um, if you guys want to have any feedback feel free to just comment below I would love any feedback of kind of how you guys want me to do these um, but honestly I don't mind the longer you know what is this gonna be roughly 20 25 minute video 
of me just kind of going over my portfolio. Um, kind of the plan, guys, is to be as transparent as possible. I know there's a lot of YouTubers that don't really show you their portfolios and they're not really that transparent. And honestly, I don't really like that because I feel like it's just, I don't want to say sketchy, but it just like having full trans, I mean, maybe not full transparency, but at least seeing a portfolio, having somebody talk about it to me is just, um, it's a night and day difference. So that is kind of the plan. Let me know if you guys have any um, feedback, comment below. If you guys enjoy the video, please be sure to like it. It does help out with the, the YouTube algorithm. And then consider subscribing if you guys are not currently subscribed. Uh, make sure you guys hit the bell for the notifications if you do subscribe. And then uh, share the video. Consider sharing the video with a friend as well. Um, some Maybe somebody that you know will find this useful. Again, we have the $30 referral right now. I, that's essentially $30 of free money. Um, and then you guys can take that 30 bucks and then you can put it into some Apple. <laughs> I mean, that's probably what I would do right now. Um, again, not a financial advisor, but hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Um, again, I am really open to your feedback because I'm just getting started with these videos. All right, that is gonna wrap things up. I hope you guys enjoy again. Stay healthy, stay well. I will see you guys in the next video.